Now we're going to try the long tail with two colors. We're still working with two ends, making a slip knot of the two, which we'll take out later. And this is a great way to have a colored edge with different colored stitches on the needle. Whatever color you have over your forefinger will create the stitches on the needle and the yarn over your thumb will make the ridge at the bottom of the cast on. So we're still creating the stitch just as we did before, inserting the needle knitwise into the loop on the thumb, reaching over and behind the yarn that's on the forefinger and bringing it through and tensioning. This cast on is very flexible and very durable. I actually use it for just about everything that I knit unless I want a decorative cast on. This is a great cast on to use when you're working, say, a Norwegian mitten and you have to cast on stitches over the thumb. This helps to bring both of the yarns across that gap and then you can continue on in pattern. Another alternative to this is to switch the yarns every other stitch in case you'd like to have alternating stitches in your edge. This is a fun cast on for say the tops of socks, beginning of a mitten, great for kids stuff too. When you've achieved all the stitches that you want on your needle, you can break off one yarn and continue with the other yarn, or you can leave both attached if you're going to be working stranded knitting. Here I'm using the long tail method to replace stitches that I have just removed from this Norwegian mitten for the thumb gusset. This allows me to get both of the yarns across this gap that I've created so that I can now continue on with the knitting with both yarns.